going on YouTube? This is another pickup video. Um, I am waiting for a lot more stuff in the mail, but um, I already got. I guess I got some some good stuff right now, and I thought I whatever I get in the mail like later this week, I'll just show in the next pickup video. It's just games, pretty much. But um, yeah, man, I actually got some some pretty cool stuff here, man. Some really cool stuff. Um, let me just shut up and just show it to you. Um, first off, I'll show you guys is the snapbacks. I only got two snapbacks. Um, I, first one is uh, the NCAA National Championships Maryland 2002 is when they won a championship. Um, I got this for like a dollar fifty. Um, it is worn. This one, this one wasn't like perfect or nothing like that. It was really flat, but I fixed it out. I fixed it up. And um, I usually don't wear these hats, you know, where it has like a champion chip in the date. But I mean, Maryland. They haven't won since 2002, and I live in Maryland, so I'm representing, and this was back when Steve Blake and Juan Dixon were in Maryland, and then after that, they got um, drafted into the Wizards. I don't even know what the hell Juan Dixon's doing now. He's being a bum somewhere, and then Steve Blake is actually on the Lakers now. I hate the Lakers, but this is the first one, um, Maryland. Um, the second hat, this one was pretty cool. I got this one for $4.00. Um, it was, it's a Phoenix Suns purple with the orange underbrim, no, green underbrim, orange brim, um, says Stitch Suns in the back. This one was fresh, um, I took off the tag because I wore it, but it, it did come with the tag, um, it even had like an old price on it, fourteen ninety eight. um, this was at the thrift store as well, um, I keep the tags, but I don't wear them with the tags, but... This is that. I mean, when I saw this, I was I was psyched to see this, but um, um, this this is like a hat. This is a hat that like a snapback you usually see like on on eBay a lot, and and I've seen this on eBay a lot, but I like this hat a lot more than I thought I would, man, because the purple is so deep and the orange is just so bright. It's just so sick, dude. And I copped it for four bucks. Um, I didn't want to cop it for four bucks, you know. I don't like paying that much for hats because I usually pay like one dollar or two dollars, but it was fresh, man. So, cop that. Alright, those were my hats that I copped. Um, Alright, then I got like some comics and some books or whatever. I got, I found this for 69 cents. Bone? Um, book number four. I do have the whole uh, Bone like series, but like in a f big fat black and white book. But this one is just um, this one's in color, but it's not the whole series. It's just like part of it. But I got it because it was so cheap. Then um, I copped some comic books. Um, I copped all these for twenty five cents each at a at a bookstore, some like old raggedy bookstore. First one is a uh, X Force. I I mainly got this one because um. Deadpool's on the front cover with Siren. Um, this was this one is from like 1996, I think. So I got this one, and then I got another X Force. Um, got it as well because it had Deadpool on the front cover, and it was a quarter. And I got X Men number 24 with. Uh, uh, Rogue and Gambit. This is if you guys own any '94 Flare cards, um, the Marvel. There's actually a card that's like this exact picture of Gambit and Rogue. Um, but this one's in pretty good condition, man. Cop that, you know, '90s. That '90s comics are my favorite. Um, then I got this one, uh, a Kenny X Men. Number 294, um, I mainly got this because it was the Executioner song part one. Um, it was like a big story back in the day with the whole X-Men and stuff, so so I copped that. This one was pretty cool, I got Thunderstrike number one. This was like perfect condition, you know. They actually, they had, uh, they had number one through 24, 
but I only cop number one just because I don't know Thunderstrike. I really don't know too much about Thunderstrike, and he ain't all that honestly. But I just cop number one just because it's issue number one. Then I got X Force number forty. I mainly got this one because um, of Shatterstar. I love Shatterstar. Um, I just noticed this story of the brothers grunt I don't know if any of you guys remember this show back on MTV it was a cartoon and it was by far one of the weirdest cartoons man if anybody remembers this cartoon on MTV back in the day let me know dude cuz I used to watch that shit all the time alright then I got uh, X-Force number 21 once again because of Shatterstar Looks like he's about to beat the shit out of War Machine, because War Machine's beating the crap out of Cannonball, so got that one. And I got this one because it was just a it's just a web of Spider-Man, it was in good condition. Uh, number 104. So and I got two more comics. I got uh, Origins of Marvel Comics. Um, this one's with the X-Men. I mainly got these because it pretty much gives like a one page, like, I don't know synopsis of uh, like each character's background story you know it's not a long drawn out story and I, I read some of them before I bought them to make sure that the stories were they're, they're correct and they were so if I want to know like a background behind a character I just go to this and then I got uh, origins of Marvel comics but this is for the whole Marvel universe so you know it has a story like I read some stories that I didn't even know about you know so this is sweet um Next, I, like after I, like when I was leaving the bookstore, as I was leaving, they had like a huge bin that I didn't look through that they had they hadn't priced anything yet. And let me tell you, man, I used to own this book, like when I was like a baby, like and you know I've had it through elementary school, and for some reason I've lost it. Um, my sister, she's she's a little older than me, she's in her thirties now, but um, she loved Garfield. And so, back in the day, me and her both had a copy of this called Garfield and His Nine Lives. Um, but basically, this is so old school. This is like from 80, 1984. But it goes through like Garfield's different lives. Like, this one is funny. I like this one. It's like, we're the Vikings and stuff. I don't know, man. And like, everything is, every, every story is a different artist and stuff. So, it's just hilarious, man. Like, we used to have two copies, but the one I had, the ones we had were hard, hard covers, and this one's like soft cover. But I found it, and I asked the book guy, like, how much he would sell this for. And he said he'd sell it to me for $2.50, and I was like, yo, let me buy this right now, because this takes me back, man. If you guys just love just, like, random comics, man, like Garfield, I recommend this book. You can find it on eBay, but it's like 10 bucks, and I didn't want to pay that much for it, so definitely check that out. Um, alright, now I got some games. I got Home Alone 2 for the Sega Genesis. It doesn't come with the booklet. Um, I got it for two bucks. I wouldn't have got it if it was loose. I mainly got it because it, it was like, it's, it had the box, so. I'll probably never play that. This was a pretty cool find. I actually found a boxed Atari 2600 game. Uh, Enduro. I actually paid three dollars for this, but it's pretty cool. The only thing that sucks about it is it has this like white stripe sticker on it, and I tried to take it off, but it'll just rip off the box. So I don't own a box Atari game, 2600. So this was cool. I definitely copped that. I got some PS1 games. First one, Death Trap Dungeon. I don't know if you guys can see that. If there's like a glare, um, sorry about that. I haven't played it. I bought it for three bucks. Just trying to build up my PS1 collection. I found Road Rash 3D. I got this one for two bucks. Um, I honestly don't know if I own this or not. I might actually own this already. That's sad. When you like buy games and you don't think you have them, but you really do. That's when you know you have too many video games. I don't know if I have it, but I'm gonna have to check. I think I do have it, but whatever. I found two sealed PS1 games, actually. I got them for $3 each. First one is Running Wild. I've never played this game at all. Still has a tab. Um, you know how PS1 used to have these stickers right here? The only problem is it has this hole. I noticed it has this hole, and it goes through the whole case. So I don't, know, I don't even know if I should open this or not. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? And I also found Spyro the Dragon sealed. I already own this game, but I don't I don't own the manual or the back insert. So I'm not even going to open this, but it does have the same thing as Running Wild with the hole throughout the whole case. It's cracked, so I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with it? I mean, I'll probably just leave this one sealed just because I already own Spyro, so. And then, this is probably a really epic find right here. Um, I don't know if you guys been watching my, whoever's been watching my videos, when I, when I came to visit my, my parents for Thanksgiving break while I was at school, I came, I went to the thrift store, and during the Thanksgiving break, I found a game, like a rare game, um, at the thrift store, I found it for $3, and it's a rare PS1 game, and it was like mint condition, it was mint, so I kept it. But I found another copy at the same thrift store. But this time it wasn't complete. It was just a disc. But I have it up on eBay now. I bought it for $3. I listed it yesterday night on eBay. And it's already at $31. I can easily sell it for $50. But that is uh, Mega Man Legends 2. Um, I, printed, I printed this out. I printed out the, the cover. And I printed out the back insert. But, um, yeah, man, I found it, I found it for $3 at the thrift store. It was just a disc. I looked at it, and, uh, there is a lot of scratches, but the game works perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. I listed it as good. I sh maybe I should have listed it as acceptable. I don't know, man. Maybe I should go back and do that. I don't know if I can, though. But, I mean, the scratches don't affect the gameplay at all. So... Yeah, I found Mega Man Legends 2 again, but this time it wasn't complete, so this was pretty epic for me. Um, I found this Final Fantasy 8 box. I don't know, I think it's supposed to be a... Like, when I opened it, it's supposed to, like, it had this stuff, but it was all empty. And I knew it was empty, and I, and I got it for 45 cents, but the reason why I bought it was so I can actually keep Final Fantasy 8 in here. But when I got home and I tried to put the game in here, the, the, the case... It didn't fit. It's too. F it's like perfectly sized, but the box won't won't close. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this box. This box is like whatever. Um, I found a vinyl, Air Supply. This is a different album. Though. This is the one that you love. You know, 80 80s cheesy love music, man. You already know. So this is the only vinyl I copped. Um. Also at the thrift store, I found like this poster. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's Bart Simpson. It says eat my shorts. I got it for ninety nine cents. It came with like a cardboard. It is pretty vintage, man. It's old school. It's nineteen ninety. So I thought I'd buy it. I was like, why not? Um, and then today, my friend, he used to work at GameStop, and I asked him if he could like save me some display boxes for certain games. And he still, he doesn't work there anymore, but he still has a hookup. Like, he'll go in there, and he'll, like, ask the, his workers, like, the managers, hey, man, can I get this, can I get this? And they'll just give it to him. And since I'm cool with him, he, he gives me stuff. So, what I, I asked him for is, like, I need a Wii box. So we went there, he asked the guy for a Wii box, and the dude gave me a Wii box. But it's, like, not, it's not folded. I mean, I can fold it. It's, like, brand new Wii box. Because when I bought my Wii, I bought it used. So I got a Wii box. And then the coolest thing I was able to get, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 big display box. This is freaking sick. Look at this. This is awesome. This is going to look nice in my room. And it's like in really nice condition. Some perfect condition. This is what I really wanted the most. I wanted this. This is sick. Um, I also have like three more of them actually. Um, these actually aren't mine. These are my friends. He's letting me hold them because he didn't. He, he wasn't able to transport him to his house, so... Um, I asked him if I could have another one. But I don't know what I'm going to do with two. But he's keeping two, so... I mean, these are sick, man. Put this in, like, your game room. you be looking fly like hell. Um, I think that's it. Um, the last thing is just this hoodie. I bought this hoodie at the thrift store for... Four bucks. It's, um... Washington Redskins... Um, I saw it and it looked really sweet. It's like Redskin stitched and it's a starter hoodie. It has NFL right here. 
and it's really cool because in the hoodie it has this huge starter logo. I don't know if you can see that. See that? It's a it's a nice hoodie, man. Starter makes the best hoodies. I have an Orlando Magic hoodie from Starter, and it's sick. Like these these are just nice, man. These are real nice. But that's it, guys. That's my pickups. Um, I'll make another pickup for you. I got some more shit coming in, so. Um, I appreciate you guys helping me out with um, that vintage stuff I was getting rid of. I was able to sell a lot of stuff, man. I really appreciate you guys helping me out with that. I really needed the money, and I need to get that stuff out of my room because I haven't worn that stuff in years, but I appreciate it. All right, guys. Peace out. What's going on, YouTube? This is another pickups video. Um... I am waiting for a lot more stuff in the mail, but um, I already got, I guess I got some some good stuff right now, and I thought I, whatever I get in the mail, like, later this week, I'll just show it in the next pickups video. It's just games, pretty much, but, um, yeah, man, I actually got some, some pretty cool stuff here, man, some really cool stuff. Um, let me just shut up and just show it to you. Um, first off, I'll show you guys is the snapbacks. I only got two snapbacks. Um, I, first one is uh, the NCAA National Championships Maryland 2002 is when they won the championship. Um, I got this for like a dollar fifty. Um, it is worn. This one, this one wasn't like perfect or nothing like that. It was really flat. Um, Maryland. Um, the second hat. This one was pretty cool. I got this one for four dollars. Um, it was, it's a Phoenix Suns purple with the orange underbrim, no, green underbrim, orange brim, um, says Stitch Suns in the back. This one was fresh, um, I took off the tag because I wore it, but it, it did come with the tag, um, it even had like an old price on it, $14.98, um, this was at the thrift store as well, um, I keep the tags, but I don't wear them with the tags, but... This is that. I mean, when I saw this, I was I was excited to see this, but um, um, this this is like a hat. This is a hat that like a snap bag you usually see like on on eBay a lot, and and I've seen this on eBay a lot, but I like this hat a lot more than I thought I would, man, because the purple is so deep, and the, but I fixed it out, I fixed it up, and um, I usually don't wear these hats, you know, where it has like a champion chip in the date, but I mean Maryland. I haven't won since 2002, and I live in Maryland, so I'm representing, and this was back when Steve Blake and Juan Dixon were in Maryland, and then after that, they got um, drafted into the Wizards. I don't even know what the hell Juan Dixon's doing now. He's being a bum somewhere, and then Steve Blake is actually on the Lakers now. I hate the Lakers, but this is the first one.